Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to add color to your SVG in Inkscape. This is the second video in a little series I'm making for creating an SVG in Inkscape. So if you haven't watched the first one, you can go and watch that, which is just how to convert your sketch into a single color SVG. So after you create that, then you'll end up with something like this, where this is all one piece right here. And if I go to my node select tool, then you see that these are all just a bunch of little nodes that outline each of the strokes here. So they're not actually lines, they're actually more of shapes because the shape is actually outlined. Hopefully that makes sense. Basically, that's the format that Cricut needs it to be in in order to understand it. So in order to add color, I'm going to go with the method of having a black silhouette of the cupcake in the back and then having all of these little colored pieces that you would put on top of it. That's how I do the iron-ons so that I only have two layers because I'll have the black layer in the back and then all the colored pieces on top. In my opinion, that's the best way to do it because if you're doing iron-on, you're going to have shrinkage. If you do the outline as an actual outline, then it's not going Going to match up completely. With that said, the way we're going to do this is we're going to first break this whole thing apart so that we have separate shapes. I do want to mention that in this Inkscape video and in the Vector Q video for adding color to your SVG, it is a little bit of a hack. The way that I would normally do it in Illustrator is a little bit different because Illustrator just handles some of the functions a lot better as far as taking different shapes and and making them kind of interact with each other and like cut things out and all that. Inkscape and Vector Q are still a little bit behind in that department. So this is a little bit of a hack where it's not the simplest way to do it, but it's the way that works in these programs. So what we're going to do is grab this whole thing and we're going to go to Path, Break Apart. And this just breaks everything up into little shapes. The inside portion that was cut out is actually its own shape. And like each of the little rectangles that were here are their own shape. And we also have the silhouette. Make sure that you switch back to the select tool and then you can click on the entire thing and that's going to be just the silhouette. And then you can do command X for cut and then see how we cut that whole silhouette out. And then let's go over to our layers panel and we're gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna drag it to the bottom here. I'm going to do edit, paste in place. So now we have our silhouette on this bottom layer. And if I hide it, then you can see it goes away. Also, this extra layer is here for some reason, so I'm just going to delete it. So I'll just right click, delete current layer. These are all of our separate pieces for the cupcake, so we can go ahead and color them. So like I'm going to select this piece here and I'll just pick what color I want it to be. And here is your color bar down at the bottom, so you can scroll through all these colors. And then if you want to make your own color, you can also just go over to fill and stroke and you can mess around with these values also. So that's up to you, whichever one you want to do. I'm going to go down here and just select them this way and we can do our cherry and then the icing. Now here's where it gets tricky. If I was doing this in Illustrator, the little hearts that are on the cupcake would already be cut out properly. The way Inkscape does it is a little bit different, so we do have to do an extra step here, but it's pretty quick. What we're going to do is cut out the heart outline out of the icing, and then the little filled in colored part will be a layer just like all these other ones. Right now, the icing is covering up the hearts, so let's just move it to the back. So I'm going to click on the icing, and I'm going to click this Move to Bottom button. Now we can actually see the hearts. And these hearts, we just want to cut out of the icing layer. We don't want to select it all like this, because then we'll also get the little inside of the heart. 
So instead, let's just select each one one by one. So I'm going to click on one of the hearts and then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'll select the rest of them. And then I'm going to also select the icing. So now I have the heart silhouettes and the icing. And now I'm just going to go to path exclusion. And that will cut out the silhouettes from the icing. So as you can see, now we actually have a little outline because that's what's showing through. And we can select each little inside of the heart and set it to a color. Now that I've picked all my colors, I can go over to the layers panel and show that silhouette layer. Here's our nice little cupcake. And if we want to combine some of these to make them into one object so that the Cricut cuts them out where they are, which by the way, we can only do with a single color, of course, because we're cutting it out of a single piece of vinyl. To do that, we can select all of the ones that we want to be together. So remember, click one, hold down shift, click the other ones, and then we can go to path union. And now these are actually one single object all together. We can go ahead and do that with the light blue ones as well. And now those are one object. Now we can save it with a new file name. So we could do Cupcake Cricut Color and click Save. Then we can go to Cricut Design Space. I'm in a new project now, so I'm just going to upload. Here's our little cupcake. And we did have the silhouette on a separate layer, so notice that it's separate from those other things here. There is all of our layers with all of our colors. I hope this video is helpful. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll learn to add text to our design. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to learn. Have fun creating. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.